In this new episode of the IoT Show, we're going to show you how to customize the front end, the web UI, of the Remote Monitoring Solution Accelerator. And I have Ashley and Mary Ellen for that today. Thanks for coming, guys. Hi everyone, this is the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host, and uh, here we have Ashley and Mary Ellen from the Azure uh, IoT Solution Accelerators team. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for having us, Olivier. Thanks. Yeah. So you guys will uh, walk us through how to customize the UI for the remote monitoring solution, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So how about some intros first? How about some presentation of what remote monitoring is at a high level, okay. and then what we're going to see today? Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Cool. All right. And you know what? How about you guys introduce yourself as well? Okay. Right? Sure. Ashley first. Okay, so I'm Ashley, and I'm a product manager here on the IoT Solution Accelerator team. Cool. Yeah. I'm Mary Ellen Chaffin, and I'm a dev on the Solution Accelerator right. team. And I'm Olivier. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so remote monitoring Solution Accelerator, what is that about? Yeah, so remote monitoring is just one of our uh, many different Solution Accelerators we have. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick look here just to learn kind of what a Solution Accelerator is. Mm -hmm. Remote monitoring is just one of our many solution accelerators. So let's take a look and learn more about what solution accelerators are before jumping into our walkthrough demo. Solution accelerators are ready to use, open source, reliable, fully customizable solutions built on Azure services using a proven architecture. Those solution accelerators are fully customizable both on the front and back end. In this video, we will just be focusing on how easy it is to learn how to customize the front end web UI. So, Mary Ellen, let's go ahead and jump into our GitHub repo and get started from there. Okay. So, here's our GitHub repo here, which I think there's a link somewhere in the slides here. So, um, you, have, you have actually several repos, right? Because uh, the solution is actually based on several uh, microservices. Yep. Um, we're going to focus on the web UI one, correct? Right. Okay. So, this is actually the repo for the web UI. Okay. Um, directly. So this is our GitHub repo yep. that's just for the web UI. Okay. The uh, services are in different uh, repos. Okay. So if we keep going, scroll down into the README here for this, you will find uh, a little section about customizing the solution and a link okay. to our developer walkthroughs. Okay. And the code is what? C Sharp, Java, Node? What, what actually it's is it for the UI? React.js. Okay, React.js. Okay. With some other technologies built in. Mm -hmm. um, that we that we use along with that that we actually um, so for example this first walkthrough, which is how do you add a new page? Okay. Um, to the application, if we go into this and then go all the way to the bottom, you'll find that at the, in, under more information, there's uh, some links to the technologies okay. that we use within this walkthrough. Oh, okay. So each walkthrough will have a slightly different. Uh, list of these. Okay, makes sense. And so Mary Ellen, can you explain like, uh, the different walkthroughs we have and how many we have? Yeah, so right now we've just got the first five. Um, and these are really the basic building blocks for the application. Okay. The first thing is, how do you add a new page? Okay. Um, and just maybe as, as, a, as a reminder for people, so remote monitoring is just like pre-configured solution. It's a one click on a web page and, and basically comes up with services de deployed on Azure and that, app, that, that application the dashboard and, and all the, uh, the way you interact with your devices and manage them and so forth. And this is what we actually are working through. So that's yep. the UI you get by default. By default. Okay. Yes. Yep. And so what we did, in part for our own team, but also for our customers, yep. is to be able to tell them, how do you then customize this? Yes, yeah, totally. Right? So if we want to add a new page, these are the things that show up on this side, the dashboard, uh -huh. devices, rules, et cetera. OK. Um, so this walkthrough will show you how to do that. And, okay. it, and it, it, it starts off with, hey, create a folder called this, and then mm -hmm. add these four files. These are templates? Or? Sort of. Okay. So what, what we really tried to do with these walkthroughs was to give you actual working code mm -hmm. that you can debug through. Okay. So we tell you, hey, go add these four files, uh -huh. but you notice they're linked. So basic page, for example, this is the main component for the page. Okay. If we click on that, this is actual working code. Okay. Yep. Now the way you get to that, um, if we go back to our um, walkthrough, sort of our menu of these, you'll see this section down here about how to show the walkthroughs uh -huh. in the running application. Okay. So in our app config JS file, which I can open up right here, we can change the show walkthrough examples to true. Oh, okay. Save this. Okay. And if we go back to our browser, and refresh. What should happen is it will refresh, and now we have our sample code. Oh. Yeah. So basic page, 
This is actually, mm -hmm. if you go through the basic page, the create a new page yeah. walkthrough, it's creating something called basic page. You got it. And it walks you through how to set up these main files, how to add the tab to, um, to that left nav menu, mm -hmm. um, how to make sure you get all your imports right, how okay. to add the breadcrumbs even up at the top, okay. these, these breadcrumbs up here. Mm -hmm. Walks you through how to do all that. If you do that, what you get at the end is this page oh, right okay. here. Okay, got it. And Olivia, what's actually pretty cool is that all of these <coughs> walkthroughs do not depend on one another. So if you just want to run just the basic page walkthrough or just the flyout walkthrough, you can Makes go sense. ahead and do that. Makes yeah. sense. Right. Okay. Um, the other thing really to look at with these is that these are common things that we do in the UI. For example, mm -hmm. we have a bunch of places where we open a flyout. Mm -hmm. Well, this page right here, page with flyout, um, it doesn't hook up to the grid. It doesn't do anything fancy. It just has a context menu button to that open up a flyout. Fly Got it. Very and simple. So totally integrates into the rest of the look and right. feel of the experience of the remote modeling exactly. solution here. Right? Yep. So cool. when you go ahead and actually clone the solution, this actually comes with it out of the mm -hmm. box. And so mm -hmm. you just have to turn on and, and off the switch. And then yep. if you're going into production ready code, you can go ahead and actually just rip out this whole entire folder and say that right. you're done with it. Okay. Yeah. So under the source folder, what you'll find uh, is all the components, the pages, services, those sorts of things are there. Okay. But then we have this walkthrough <coughs> folder okay. that sort of mimics that structure. And mm -hmm. if you fork this repo and you want to customize it to meet your application needs, yep. you can just delete this whole folder and okay. get it out of your way. Okay. Um, we felt like that was a better option um, to be able to give you working debuggable code mm -hmm. and not make it intrusive. So yep. if you did want to get rid of it, it was easy. Okay. Um, the other nice thing is that because they're all here and they're simple and they don't depend on each other, mm -hmm. you can almost use these as templates. Okay. Which was yeah, your original question. That was my original <laughs> question. <laughs> just, we're coming we're, around. We're circling back to the original <laughs> perfect. question. perfect. You're answering the question. That's <laughs> perfect. I like that. Yeah. I'm not a politician. I actually did answer the question eventually. <laughs> yeah. So they're not template per se, but basically you can consider you them can as the example, the, 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 base, the base for your customization, basically. Right. And okay. since Mary Ellen, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Linda. Back. Okay. Yeah. Um, and since we already like show them how the walkthroughs work, can we show them actually how to customize the front UI, for example? If I wanted to yeah. do something like, for example, let's say I already know all my freezers are in my one location and I just want to use that panel for something else, or might I just remove that panel until I'm ready? Can you show us yep. how to do that? Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do, since what we're going to edit now is the actual application, yep. mm -hmm. we're going to turn the walkthroughs back off. Okay. And we and will see, see the that. App. Yep. We will see that, that you will get a 404 because it the real app and, and the uh, samples mm -hmm. don't have the exact same page okay. names. So here's our dashboard. And if our scenario is all of our devices are in the same building, yep. the map doesn't make sense, takes up some precious real estate. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go into our dashboard JS, mm -hmm. which has a bunch of stuff in it. Yep. And we'll scroll down and find the render method. There's the start of the render method. And we'll find this map panel. Okay. And that's our map that we want to get rid of. Uh -huh. And in this case, what you'll notice is it also has a panel error boundary, and that's okay. just so we can display error messages nicely without it mm -hmm. covering the whole page. Yep, yep. Um, and then this cell um, shows, helps determine what size it is and where it shows up. Okay. So we actually don't want to just get rid of the map panel. We want to get rid of that whole cell. Of the whole cell itself. So okay. we're going to delete it. We're going to okay. save it. And then we're going to go back to the mm -hmm. browser. And when that refreshes, magically the map is gone. This is the magic of React, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Did I just ruin it? No. <laughs> no. No. And it's really easy to go awesome. put it back. Yeah. So that's great. So basically, developers can just like use what they're used to to customize the full front end here. Um, right. I guess we'll hear you. Uh, we're, we'll hear back from you again, guys, for for other episodes on the IT Show for more about customizing remote monitoring. Yeah, look for more microservices based uh, videos coming. Awesome. Forward. So that was about customizing the web UI of remote monitoring solution. Thanks, Ashley. Thank Thanks, Marilyn. Thank and you. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>